The hope of uh, traditional culture in the world. And today, the witness has great performance in that direction. We are saying that the witness is rather to Yes, I think that the governor is here, the governor of the state, the Excellency. Please, leave the podium, leave the podium, please. And shortly after he's taking his position, we are going to begin the program in earnest. So please find yourself a seat. Find yourself a seat. He comes back again.
which by God's grace we have titled History Becomes a Brighter Future Begins in Aruchu Kingdom. esteemed elders in the history of our renowned Arajibu Kingdom. Earlier this year, I was officially crowned and handed the staff of office for this exalted, revered, and ancient throne. Today, we celebrate the coronation in full expression and I am deeply grateful to God Almighty and everyone who worked very hard to make both my ascension to the throne and our celebration today possible. The Ezra Tron has been a symbol of our collective strength, a symbol of our unity, a symbol of our cherished traditions. The recent contestations for the throne were not merely trials of ambition, but a test of our resolve both as a people and for me as a person. Today, I extend my hand in brotherhood to all princes of our dear kingdom, for in unity lies our true power. Our elders say, Gidi Gidi, who is Unity is strength. Unity and wisdom have preserved our ancient kingdom through the centuries. It was unity and resilience that helped the Arochu kingdom survive the British invasion in 1901 when we had the Arochu-British War. And that unity and resilience has continued to preserve this kingdom and made it to drive till today. Now, more than ever before, we need that unity of purpose to reinforce our commitment to our kingdom's legacy. The path to regain our lost opportunities and rekindle progress demands a foundation built upon trust understanding and harmony. Strength lies in the bonds that tie us together as one indomitable force. I pledge before you all today, not as a ruler, but as a servant leader devoted to the prosperity and well-being of every individual within our great kingdom. I commit to fostering an environment where every voice is heard, every dream is nurtured, and every member of our society finds their place in the sun. With humility, magnanimity, and selflessness, I vow to bridge the divides that have hindered our progress. I promise to lead with the fear of God and respect for everyone. I am committed to bringing utmost dignity and attract the highest respect to the throne of Israel.
to lend my voice to the concerted calls on His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for the release of our son, Maze Nandi Kano, from his prolonged detention. His release, already sanctioned by court injunctions, is overdue, and I will and will be in the interest of promoting peace and justice in Nigeria. Omar, as I lead and serve from this revered throne, I call upon all sons and daughters of Arutu to join hands with me. I cannot do it alone. I will lead the wise counsel of our elders and the support of everyone to write a new chapter in our history. At this point, I want to thank God Almighty who has guided my journey in life. I'm grateful to my amazing parents, my grandfather, the iconic basic energy, from whom I learned the golden rule of leadership, and I achieve achieve and this battle is to My father, Reverend Prince Joshua Kanoji, and my mother, Dr. Mrs. Doris Oji. To my dearest wife, who raised it, Nona, the love of my life, and my children, Evonaya Chubu, Eberi Chubu, and Amara Chubu, your love and sacrifices are forever cherished. My all reserved gratitude, Your Excellency, Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Choma Koti. We really want to say thank you, Mazi, for gracing this event despite your demanding schedule. I'm grateful to all my spiritual leaders, including representatives of Pastor E.A. Adewe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Church of God, who are here, and all pastors and ministers of God and prayer team that have been praying for me since I ascended this throne. I appreciate your partnership and I appreciate your support. I want to thank my colleagues.